Hello, welcome to my channel, Deconstructing the Voice. Today, we're going to talk about recording an aria in isolation. Last year was a fantastic year for me because I had so many live performance opportunities. It was going really well until all of a sudden all the gigs just evaporated. So once those gigs evaporated, lots of companies and organizations were trying to figure out what they were going to do about the isolation quarantine requirement. So a lot of those companies have approached singers with uh, the option to record at home. I have been doing my YouTube channel for years. Honestly, for the last year or so, my setup has been pretty consistent and um, I'm really liking where it is. And I haven't had time to do my YouTube because I've been recording songs for these digital concerts. In opera, a huge element of the charm is the live quality. People really like to experience a really well sung aria done in a single take right in front of their eyes. Unfortunately, things are pre-recorded, but you can take an aria in a single take, which is probably the closest thing to doing it live. Um, what I do is recording is a lot more trickier than singing live. So, and it's lasts longer. So I do at least give myself the liberty of multiple takes. General rule, I take three full takes and leave it at that. Then I'll go in and edit. This aria, I went ahead first and second takes. I felt pretty good about that I went ahead and took a third take. The third take I didn't like in the moment, so I went ahead and took a fourth. Usually when I take my takes, I do not just finish a first take and then immediately go into the second take. Um, especially with arias this big, you need to have a rest. So I give myself minimum 15 minutes on average of a break just depending on how I feel. So a recording session, depending on the length of the aria itself, usually takes about an hour and a half to two hours. And that doesn't even factor in how specifically how long the aria is. My first strategy was to um, record karaoke style with the music in the room. I set up a speaker where I had the track playing and I would sing along karaoke style to the track with me in the room, slightly picked up by my microphone, but mostly having my voice being picked up by my cardioid microphone. Um, then I could use the reduced track and edit in the full track as its own MP3, whatever kind of file, make sure that I lined up the tracks, which is super easy since they're exact same. You can just, you can turn on the wave file uh, image and just make sure that they pretty much look the same and then listen, make sure there isn't like a weird kind of echo. There's, there'll be an echo if you don't have them lined up completely exactly properly. The benefits of doing it karaoke style is that you can hear yourself how you normally sound in a room when you sing along to a piano or whatever. But I found, since I was also singing pretty large, louder arias, there was the issue where sometimes if I didn't have the speaker just loud enough for me to be able to hear, I would get off because I would sing so loud that I wasn't able to actually hear. So one way to get around that is to actually have headphones and have the track playing and sing along to the track with headphones. So this video is trying that style. So this aria is my first attempt at singing with earbuds in. And the challenge with that is that it completely messes with your acoustic perception if you do like to listen. They say if you're a good singer, you should be able to sing just by feel without hearing yourself. But if it's a if it's an acoustic situation that you're not used to, it can mess you up. And I feel like I handled it well, but it did feel 
different, strange. I'm not used to it. it it's almost like having earplugs in your ears, but you can really hear the accompaniment. So let's talk about the accompaniment. I went ahead and took a track from another YouTuber, Pocket Pianist. She is fantastic. I recommend you check out her channel because um, all of the tracks, she does very popular arias, but she also does more obscure arias. And I find it's the best resource for rehearsing and preparation for a show. Um, people say don't don't rehearse with tracks because then you just get used to singing along with the track and then you can't change it i've been singing for over 20 years i can i can sing along to a karaoke but then i can also follow a conductor or feel it out for myself i people aren't robots they can handle it you can handle it you don't have to worry about singing along to a track you will not get locked in a track let's talk about tempo Depending on the situation and uh, the reason that you're singing a certain aria, uh, the tempo can be determined by various different factors. If you are in an actual stage show, the conductor, 100%, you have to follow the conductor. Of course, you'll be in rehearsals. You'll know what tempo the conductor actually wants. So then you can practice, get used to it. And then when it actually comes to, you know, following them, you understand how fast they want it, where the cuts are, where the repeats are. Um, when you are singing in a cabaret type of opera concert with just a pianist, then traditionally the singer is the one who determines the tempo and the pianist's job is to, or the accompanist's job is to follow them and to just kind of be as psychic as possible. Um, then, now, now we found ourselves in a major third paradigm, which is karaoke style opera or opera singing along to a pre-recorded track. What's difficult is that with karaoke, you at least have like cues on a screen of, oh, this is when uh, the timing of the words, but with, you, most, most tracks, you don't have that sophistication. You can use um, music. Uh, I really recommend when starting to learn a track, you read along with the music and you listen to the track like three, four, five times, reading through with the music, maybe singing along. But I would say, I would say in those early stages, worry about singing too much. You really need to focus more about the timing, what the accompanist is playing, where they're pausing, how their rubato is ebbing and flowing, where they take fermatas, things like that. So with this track, I did not have any choice in the tempo. By my taste, I would want to take it slower, uh, especially, and I would also like to fermato some of the high C's in this song, but you know, I'll, I'll take what I can get. And I, I really do enjoy this track overall, regardless of slightly too fast speed. Oh, let's talk about the actual song. The actual song, this aria, is uh, a Rossini aria from the opera Cenerentola. Si ritrovarla io giuro. It is the aria that the prince sings right before he goes out on after Cinderella has disappeared and before he goes out on the search trying to find her. Rossini's opera is not the same as the traditional story. In the traditional story, Cinderella runs away at midnight and loses a slipper. In the opera, she gives him a bracelet and he has a bracelet that he has to like find the matching wrist. I don't know. Bracelets can be worn by anybody as far as I'm concerned. It's it's a very strange change. There's a lot of weird changes in the Rossini version of Cinderella, Cenerentola. Speaking stylistically or genre-wise, this is a Rossini aria. And Rossini and Donizetti, for me, as a tenor, they're quite similar. They're both very light, very tend to be pretty high and quick. I would say that the more well-known aria that this Cenerentola aria is similar to is Pur Monam, 
which is the Donizetti tenor aria from uh, La Fille du Regiment. And that one is famous because it's got nine high C's. It depends on how many times you repeat it. And this one also has many high C's in it. And it depends on how many times you choose to repeat it. So obviously I'm using her cuts. I'm using her amount of repeats. Um, and I do cut out the chorus words. It's such a slight part of the aria and really it's it's the lead singing along with the chorus or engaging with the chorus. And since I have no chorus to engage, I've just taken those out. And it makes it a lot easier, especially since I'm I was having to deal with the, the tempo. So here is my Si ritrovar la yo juro. Principe più non sei di tante sciocche si vuoti il mio palazzo. Hola, miei fidi, sia pronto il nostro coccio e fra momenti così potessi aver la lide venti. Si ritrovarla, io giuro, amor, amor, mi muove. Se fosse in grembo a Giove, Io la ritroverò se fosse in grembo a Giove. Io la ritroverò se fosse in grembo a Giove. La troverò, si la troverò. Si ritrovarla io giuro, amor, amor mi muove. Se fosse in grembo a Giove, io la ritroverò. Se fosse in grembo a Giove, la troverò, si la troverò. Io la ritroverò, io la ritroverò, 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 la ritroverò. speranza, freddo timore dentro al mio cuore stanno a pugnar freddo timore dentro al mio cuore stanno a pugnar dolce speranza freddo timore dentro al mio cuore stanno a pugnar Oh, 
dolce speranza, freddo timore, dentro al mio cuore stanno a pugnar. Freddo timore, dentro al mio cuore stanno a pugnar. Dolce speranza, freddo timore, dentro al mio cuore stanno a pugnar. Amore, amore, mai da guidar. 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 Sì, sì, mai da guidar. Mai da 